CataractCoach.com. Advanced surgeons are more likely to have a ruptured capsule during INA rather than FACO. Now, this is a routine case on a patient who's more than 90 years old. We've made the main incision in the side port. We've made a nice round capsorexis, which is well centered in the visual axis. We'll do routine hydrodissection. I want you just to watch carefully. Let me know if you notice anything unusual. So, so far, so good. Nice round rexis. Certainly, it's a larger nucleus, a dense nucleus. This, again, is an elderly patient. He's had a cataract for many years. Nucleus removal goes fine. Here you go. End of the, end of the nucleus removal. Faco probe taking out the last bit of lens nucleus. And looks pretty good. Couple little bits floating around. That looks fine. No issue at all. Now it's time for irrigation aspiration to remove the lens cortex. And here's where I want you to watch very carefully. So put the eye probe in the eye. And again, everything seemed normal up to this point. Nothing out of the ordinary. Here's the eye probe. We start to remove some of the cortex. And we're going nice and gentle on this patient, keeping in mind that the tissue is quite old. It's, again, more than 90 years old. And we're on the lookout just to make sure that the zonules hold up. We put a little bit of cortex at a time. And that didn't want to come, so put a little bit more here, nice and gently. Watching carefully, making sure the rexus doesn't move, because that would indicate bad zonules. So far, so good. And as I start to pull on this cortex, something spooks me. I pull that like, oh, that's, hold on, let's back flush that. Let me let go of that. Let me try a different spot here. And we go again very gently, just trying to get the cortex out little by little. Just want to make sure there's not going to be no issue with the capsule. And again, taking my time here, watch again now with this piece of lens cortex. That looks okay, but the next piece, as we pull on it, I'm a little hesitant, and as I pull, it just strikes me as odd, so I back flush, and let's try again. And it turns out these linear streaks are not ruptures in the capsule. It's just stringy cortex, an unusual type of change that tends to happen in very elderly patients here. So we're lucky, everything went fine, the capsule's intact, there is no breakage, nothing else is going on. Filling up the capsule bag here with the cohesive viscoelastic, we'll put the IOL in the bag. And that's an important step to show you, of course, the size of the rexus, show you that the lens stays well-centered, show you that we can put the lens in the bag, it's totally intact. So we're gonna fixate the eye here, and we'll slowly deliver that lens, going in nice and easy. We'll go right in the capsule bag and we'll let that unfold. We do have other videos here on Cataract Coach explaining how cataract surgery in elderly patients is different. If you're a nonagenarian, 90 plus years old, tissues are different. We have to be a lot more careful. So in this case, it was just linear streaks that were residual sticky cortex that ended up being stringy, but the capsule itself is intact and all those zonular attachments are good too. Let's go back to that one section and watch it just in slow motion. So again, as we grab here, this is at one third speed, we see some linear lines and I just reflexively back flush out. You don't want to keep pulling. So now I'm sure it's okay. We try again and there's another linear line there. By this time I know, okay, let's just let go, but it's probably just cortex and we'll go back again and be very gentle. So make sure you know how to use that back flush on your phaco, on your eye tip. That tends to be kicking to the left, but it can vary from machine to machine. You can program it differently as well. Be very careful with these elderly patients, and hopefully, like in this case, everything will turn out great. Thanks for watching.